Merry Christmas everybody, happy holidays, and thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Looking at day number 23 of the Craft Beer Advent Calendar 2019 edition today. Um, yeah, pretty big one tonight. Uh, Sound Brewery out of uh, Poulspo, Washington. So some American craft beer. Um, this is their Ursus Spelius. Spelius? Something like that. Coffee. Um, yeah, it's their Belgian-style Imperial Stout coming in at a whopping 10% alcohol by volume. Um, I have had the original uh, Belgian Imperial Stout from then, the original uh, Ursus Spelius, but I uh, haven't had the coffee version, so sounds pretty interesting. So, um, yeah, let's get it cracked forward. Let's see how it is. This one pours, as you would expect from an Imperial Stout, pitch black, a finger of a really dark mocha brown head, bit of alcohol, legs, dripping down the sides of the glass, but it is looking pretty nice, dark as night. Um, yeah, nice looking Imperial Stout. Let's get an aroma. Wow. Smells like coffee, of course, and uh, like this uh, chocolate chip banana bread that my mom makes. Pretty cool stuff. That smells really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if uh, she decided to put some coffee into the mix, uh, that's how it'd smell. I mean,. That is very banana bread forward kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's got that Belgian phenolic uh, uh, banana yeasty estery kind of thing. Some dark chocolate in there. Hint of milk chocolate, a sweetness, like a vanilla kind of thing. But yeah, smells good. Very coffee forward. Let's try it out. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Very roasty. Nice, like, espresso kind of bitterness. Slight smokiness, maybe something like that going on in there. That roasty, toasty kind of like slightly caramely kind of maltiness. Um, and again, like banana bread, uh, lots of coffee, some dark chocolate. Um, really good beer. I'm digging that. Ten percent hidden very well. Little, little bit of booze, but not a lot at all. I mean, that's very well balanced, easy drinking for its strength. It's got a nice carbonation to it, like a light carbonation, but uh, just this silky, sticky kind of like, if you ever drank molasses, I remember I once drank molasses as a kid, and it just stuck my lips together. It kind of reminds me of that. That being said, it does have that like brown sugar molasses kind of uh, flavor to it. Ah, there's the register. Um, yeah, really good. It's got a very nice balance between the roastiness, the uh, bitterness, the sweetness. I'm really digging that beer. <clears throat> the 
this is exactly what I want from an Imperial Stout, a coffee Imperial Stout, but it has that Belgian fruitiness, the flair, that Belgian yeast, the bready, like banana bread, slightly like phenolic kind of thing in the background. Um, yeah, that slight dark fruit, I want to say like a fig, maybe a prune, something like that going on. Really well done beer. This is really good. I think this might be, might be my favorite so far of the calendar. That, I remember day two's uh, Saison or Wheat Beer, one of the, I forget exactly what it was, but that was my favorite. This one, close second. This is really good. So, rating wise, 93. Really digging it. Uh, yeah, that's something I would buy all the time. Um, don't know if I can find much sound beers anymore. I know there used to be a few in Alberta. And, um, yeah, uh, wish I could find this one. I mean, if I see bottles of this lying around in uh, liquor stores across this great province, great province, then, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to pick them up. This is solid, solid stuff. Really good. So, super stoked that it's in the calendar. Um, but hey, you might disagree. I mean, you might hate this beer. So, you gotta try it. See what you think of it. You might also think it's the best beer on earth. So, you know, try it out. See what you think. Um, you know, like I always say, uh, the whole point of drinking different beers is knowing what you like, knowing what you dislike, and uh, never take anyone's word for it except your own palate. It's the only palate you can trust. So do that. Uh, try out the beer. Uh, Ursus Spalius from Sound Brewery out there in Washington. I heard this weird thing about the Washington State just as like a um, rabbit hole kind of thing, but like Washington DC, they wanted to call Washington State Columbia, but they're like, you know what, someone might get that confused with DC, District of Columbia, so they called it Washington. Isn't that even more confusing? I don't know, but I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard from some historian or some shit. So, yeah, just heard that the other day. I'm like, what the hell's going on? But, yeah, there's a little snippet of factoids that might not be true. So, uh, yeah, correct me on that if I'm wrong. Let me know what y'all think of this beer, if you've had it, or any of Sound's other beers, any of the other beers you've enjoyed from the Craft Beer Advent Calendar. So far, what is your favorite? Um, yeah. I've been digging, like, most of them. A couple of duds here and there, but, yeah, I've been really digging them. So, yeah, definitely going to review this one next year. Pretty stoked um, and can't wait for tomorrow's. And, um, yeah, until tomorrow, cheers. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever you're celebrating, have a good one.